Hi everyone, it's MJ and in this video we're looking at a sample question from exam P. And it says a client spends X minutes in an insurance agent's waiting room, so waiting room is X, and Y minutes in the meeting with the agent, so the meeting is Y. The joint density function of X and Y can be modeled by, and what we basically have here is a joint exponential distribution. So we almost, I mean, you don't have to separate it, but you could think of separating it as follows, where we have for x, we've got this one over here, and then for y, we have this over here. Now, the interesting thing is, is that what we're asked in this question is which of the following expressions represent the probability that a client spends less than 60 minutes at the agent's office. And if we look at the multiple choice uh, potential answers, we'll see that the only difference is the, you know, these limits over here for our integrals. Everything else is, is the same. Now the tricky part is, or I think a lot of people might make a little bit of a mistake, is they're thinking, oh look, 40 and 40 for x, and 20 and 20 for y, and they're thinking it's like this. But it's not necessarily the situation. That might be you know, the parameter that is used, that's the, the waiting time rate. But the question is saying, what is the probability that the client spends less than 60 minutes at the agent's office and is not giving us any indication of, or saying you know, they have to spend so much here and so much there. Which means straight away we can actually cancel out all of the ones that are using the 40 and the 20. Instead, we can focus on these two that are looking at 60 minutes. Now, D is incorrect because it's not factoring in the sense that these, um, these times are, are joint, uh, in the sense that the more time you spend in the one, it's going to affect the time you spend in the other one. So D can also be taken out, which means by, you know, this is the fact that E is the only one left, it, it must be the answer, but it's always good to check. And yes, you see, that's what we are looking for in our joint distribution, is the fact that we want to get everything with regards to X. So we're going to be putting the 60 minus X over here, and then once we integrate that out with our X's, we can then integrate out with just the X's and get, and get our result. So that is the one we are looking for. Um, and the way to work it out was that you know the total time is to be less than 60 minutes. So if x minutes are being spent in the waiting room, uh, you know, in the range of 0 to 60, then from 0 to 60 minus x minutes are spent in the meeting itself. But yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one uh, that for, for joint distribution uh, functions. But if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.